Britain, she was born Frances Rose Shore, but when she won her first singing audition, the radio announcer called her Dinah, and the name stuck. That was in 1938, and her star quickly rose. She signed with NBC in 1940, and a year later was sent on an audition for Eddie Cantor. She recalled on Larry King Live that Cantor had her sing nearly every song she knew. An hour had gone by, and she had not met the man. And now I've got my shoes off. I can, you know, you can sing longer than you can stand up. He comes walking out of the studio, this beautiful, spare, elegant little man. I thought he would be much taller because he was a giant. And he, and he said, you'll forgive me for keeping you singing so long. I figure it's the last time I'm going to hear you for nothing. Which meant I had the oh. job. Dinah, I've been flipping for you for years. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, in that case... She... <laughs> Shore's southern charm captivated crowds. She entertained the troops in World War II and was honored with the USO Medallion Award for her service. She made the transition from radio into the new medium of television with the Dinah Shore Show in 1951 and the Dinah Shore Chevy Show from 1956 to 1963. Drive your through the USA. America's the greatest land of all. Her television success included multiple Emmy Awards and a Peabody, which reads, what TV needs, obviously, is about 100 dinosaurs. Is singing still your favorite thing? I'm still, oh, yeah. One would assume. I mean, that's what you yeah, that's, always have been. That's who I am. Oh, beautiful for Patriot's dream. Audiences, it seemed, couldn't get enough of Dinosaur. They bought her records. Nine albums went gold. And they bought tickets to her movies. Though she was better known for her small screen work, her films include... Thank your lucky stars, up in arms, and oh God. I call her a lady in the sense that she was aristocratic. She came from the South, and she had a, an aura about of kindness, sweetness, goodness, and it was true. Off-screen, Shore was an athlete and for more than 25 years hosted the annual Dinah Shore Palm Springs Golf Tournament. She was also honored with a street in her name in her hometown of Winchester, Tennessee. She was married twice, her first husband, Western star George Montgomery, and their two grown children were with her when she died. Shore maintained a lifelong friendship with former love Burt Reynolds, who said in a statement, Hollywood has lost its greatest and only real angel. There will never be anyone as kind, as honest, as sweet, and as talented. Her star will shine the brightest of any in the sky. I'm with you. Shore was 76.